everything I got, got by myself Everything I got, got by myself Who are you? I can't love or trust a soul, no, no I don't fight, I told a pole I told a pole I don't fight, I told a I told a pole Everything I got, got by myself I keep that pistol for my health And I go hard to nothing left That way I'll never take a L And I can't play a whole clothes Cause she will leave for someone else Once your paper slow up But you cannot keep up the flex I can't love or trust a soul I can't love or trust a soul and I don't fight, I keep a pole I don't fight, I keep a pole I can't love or trust a soul I can't love or trust a soul Trust is so and I don't fight, I keep a pole Niggas is breaking all the rules, ain't nobody sticking to code And I got pissed, I never told Niggas hear numbers and they fold I stack the cash and run it over, get it back to Yeah, 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 that's main way myself, man But listen, you're now tuned into Me, 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 me Million dollars worth of game Oh no, you like my dance moves? I ain't even look over there, I did what I look over there You, you hating on my steps, I'm, I'm getting better He was doing the Jamaican two guns Yeah, what the fuck you doing? You down with that? That's what they call it He was doing that rude boy I know that's what they call it But listen, man you're now tuned into me, 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 and I was worth a game on Wallow 27. That's dead nasty over there. And that's the one and only. Yeah, Gilly the Nut. That's Gilly the Nut. Yo, yo, bro. Bro, what I tell you, I tell you, keep your hands first. Can you stop? Yo, stop. Stand down. Huh? I'll pimp slap the shit out of you. I love you. Yo, yo, all right, you ain't gonna be satisfied till I slap blood in your fucking mouth. They used to call me Big Hand Jones. Yeah, no, they used to call you. They used to call me Palm because I used to. Yeah, they used to call you. Yeah, wait, shut up. Everybody know why they called you Palm, nigga. Right. Everybody know that. They used to call me. Why Shut up. Because your dick stayed in your palm. And I, and listen, That's why. And they used to call everybody me Everybody called back. you Palm because your dick was <laughs> they always me in slap your back. palm. Because when I slap you, slap back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slap back. Yeah. No, you see slap back? You, yeah. no, they call you slap back because every time you slap yeah. the nigga, they slapped you back, nigga. What the fuck is you talking yeah, about? Yeah, they ain't worried you ain't never that. get one off. Fuck is yeah. you talking about? I ain't even gonna front it. Until and I'ma just tell you, I don't fight, I keep a bone. <laughs> I ain't worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Everything about that. I got got by myself. I told you I got a government. Listen, listen. I already told Everything you I got a got, got by myself. Fire all retrieval class. <laughs> Nigga, I, I don't, don't fight. I keep a pole. <laughs> that was taken. Yo, that, that gun was taken. Yo, that gun was just taken <laughs> no, from you. It. it was just taken from you. He was like, <laughs> no, how you take the gun from me? First of all, first of all, I would have shot the shit out. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. And only an amateur gets this close with you. Yeah, Let me ask you a question. You don't know. There's no martial artist on record that got shot. I don't. What? No, nobody. No one. Who know one? Who I know a black boy short? Listen, we've been through this. No, Bruce Lee. No, no, Bruce Lee got shot in mid-flight. No, we don't know a black martial artist in the ghettos of America that's been shot or disrespected. Yeah, because they bitch game was ultra. No, they don't. No, ultra. They don't. Everybody so in the neighborhood. I keep telling you, everybody in the neighborhood they be wrapped in fear. They come out with that fear. big ass shit. Everybody be wrapped in fear. They be like this. Everybody know they don't talk like what that. What are you that's trying to do? Shit. That's a movie shit. I'll murder you. They be wrapped in fear. You better stop playing with Johnny Dang. They be wrapped in fear. Then a nigga, young nigga pull that flame out. the fuck you? Peace on the streets. <laughs> I never went in any trouble. <laughs> Please leave like, me alone, good bro. Stop the bars. No, yo, you the got a lot of people being my DM around the country. They're dying to fuck you up for disrespecting martial arts. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Guess what? There's a bunch of people guess like, what? yo, he think it's a game. Guess what? Is he just a guy guess playing? What? I'm like, he's a joke. Guess Don't what they dying here. to fuck me up, but guess what they not dying to do? Go to Staples and get them 22 joints in their fucking no, head. ain't doing nothing to no martial artists, man. Ain't nobody doing nothing to no martial artists. Think about this. Most of the security dudes for like a lot of rappers and a lot of people, they know martial arts. Yeah. Why do you think they get them? And, they, and why do you think check. all the security niggas? You gotta have niggas. martial arts. Hold on, hold on. Like, everybody hey, in the White hey, House, hey, they work from they hey, martial hey, artists. Hey, and why do you think all the rappers get robbed? <laughs> no, they don't. They don't be getting robbed like yes, that. Yes, they do, because no, they run no, around here with martial time, artists. The only time listen, the only time <laughs> they, they run around here with martial artists. Listen, there's a rule in the in the industry. Like people that's looking for security for artists and in the White House. This is a rule. You gotta have martial arts on your jacket to be able to be top flight security. That everybody in the White House know martial arts. All the security boys, they know martial arts. I'm just letting you know that. This is like a universal oh, law. Oh, why they knock Kennedy shit off in the middle of a parade? No, that, that's when they activated after that. Oh, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. They, they, they man, get to our sponsors, man. Initiative. You're a fucking liar. This million dollars worth of game is sponsored by Springfield Hyundai. Listen, man, let me tell you something. You go into Springfield Hyundai, like I always tell you, all you got to do is ask for one person. One person, backdoor Bobby. Because you know why? You're going to walk in the front. He's going to take you out back. They got a new program. Listen, they don't approve people. They approve credit. We know you probably messed up in life. You what? had that credit card. Listen, they don't approve, they don't approve people. They don't approve credit. They approve people. Got me. I like that. That was quick, yeah, right? thank you. That was a good back. That was, that was nice. You snitched on me, too. That was a snitch back because you, you exposed me. But listen, at the end of the day, listen, Spring Phone Hyundai, if your credit is effed up, if it's jacked up, I'm talking about, I'm talking about just tore up. Tore up from the floor up and some mow up. 
Listen, you go to Springfield Honda, they're going to get you in something. You're going to come in walking, you're going to go out driving. 844 drive now. Springfield Honda. Listen, man. Listen, man. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. This weekend, Wallow had a meeting with the Naughty. With who? The fuck, come on, you keep with the naughty. There's no such thing as Illuminati. Stop yes, saying this. Shit. You call the Illuminati the listen, naughty. Listen, yeah, he had to be with the shit. naughty. Stop. He signed you, up. You, you lie. You lie. You lie. He signed up. You wow. Lie. There's listen, no such thing. Listen, there. There. Listen, There's no such listen, thing as Illuminati. They, Hold on. What did they do? They initiated him. Listen, they didn't invite me to the meeting, so I knew they they told him he got to get rid of me. I already know. He he's signed lying, up. He's lying. We didn't, so there's our, no our, such th- thing as Illuminati. He signed up. There's no fucking such thing as Illuminati. Yeah. Stop saying that. Why they, you? They was like, you always say, what was the initiation? Oh, the initiation. No, there's no such thing. Him, there's no him, such thing. They told him they, they got put two, th- two thumbs in his ass and opened him up. He was like, what? I, I spread in my cheeks for 20 years. No, he lied. He lied. It's like, he's that like, ain't nothing. He was I like, mean, what? He was like, no, it's true. true. Like, he was like, Garth looked at my ass for 20 years. That ain't about nothing. We are signed up. He said, I am the naughty. I'm naughty by nature. I'm other people's property. We signed me up. There's no such thing as Illuminati. No such hey, thing. Hey, only Every thing, time somebody hey, listen, be blow up, hey, listen, oh, he's with the night. Hey, listen, listen. Oh, and only guess the only question he wanted to know. I'll do anything you guys want just to let me in. Can I bring April? I saw you want to bring April. Are they bringing no, April? No, no, first of all, he's April lying. ain't with listen, that. I'm gonna just explain something to you. Damian Lillard, right? For example, he scored like what was that you game? Naughty. No, no, he scored 50 <laughs> points. You right? naughty by nature. Listen. Forget it. You know what OPP? Listen, yeah, you know me. Fifty points. What was it? Yo, B Rock. What was it? Fifty points that time he scored. Damian Lillard. I heard of this dude before. Yeah, yeah I don't I even know. watch right. basketball, but yeah, he scored right. a crazy amount of points. Yeah, he don't remember. But listen, what the fuck is he, the amount of points one, he scored? I, I remember one time he scored right. So I said, "Damn, that boy, he's a killer." He said, "He's in a naughty." I said, "What the fuck is you talking about?" Yeah, you score stuff like that. Certain people, when they score certain points or do certain shit, is just like un- abnormal. They're part of the. But how naughty. could that make you score points? That's what he said. <laughs> I don't fucking know. He Game is in a naughty. How is it? Because he scored them fucking. Because he scored fifty points. It makes you, you better at basketball. Listen, he think hey, anybody wait, that wait. anybody that's like overly. Wait, hold on. You if think that's the case, like, you're good on. at basketball. Then you ain't no, 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 fuck he's not. Hold he's hold not hold good at basketball. Hold hold don't, don't do that. Don't hold do on, but I ain't 140 million over four years good. So he think he's an Illuminati because his contract. He think anybody is Illuminati. You be like, damn. You be like, damn. That that KFC. I know you in. No, you be like, damn. I know you Simple win. shit. Hold so on. is he in the semi-pro version of the naughty? No, he's not even in the naughty. <laughs> but this, but this, <laughs> see, see, hey, hold on. How would you, hold no, on. No, hold on, so like you say it like you it's check no naughty. <laughs> it's no naughty. It's no naughty, number one. There's no Illuminati. But he's the type of person. We'd be, we'd drive past two gas stations. One gas station that had 50 cars waiting in the line. The other gas station had no, the gas station that part of the naughty. <laughs> what the fuck do that? <laughs> what, because it got like a triangle symbol? No, no, no. <laughs> and he'll try to say it was a symbol. See? Hey, but, hey. He he and a naughty. Let me ask you a question. What's the definition of a good father? Mm. Somebody that's dead. Wait, wait, hold on. You niggas ain't got no kids. I'm sorry. Let me answer that. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> two oh, niggas shooting fuck? blanks. My <laughs> <laughs> two niggas oh, that drop oh, their oh, kids. Oh, 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 two niggas that place <laughs> their kids in their hand. They got to go. Oh, 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 they wipe their hand off on toilet paper. Still, you still can be classified as a father if you leave babies on like a uh, towel, a catch towel. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> CT. If you leave something on the CT, you still. Be after it's like you give it birth. Like so. What's the definition of a good father? To me, a good father is somebody that's accompanies their child through their whole journey in life. It has oh, nothing. Do it have to be the whole journey? You can't wait till they get to a certain age and you just be like. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, as a child, I'm saying as a child, not as a adult. Okay, you know, and uh. There for him mentally, you know, educate him on things, but also let them experience and going through growing pains themselves in life. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't truly believe that being a good father is all about being there financially, because you got some great fa- you got some great fathers out here who are not financially well off. But they still a great father. They just they 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 they're there for the child. They're there in different departments right. of life. Just like, like you help. got some you got some you got some horrible fathers who are well off, and they 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 give they they give their kids everything except for attention, except for knowledge, except for um, somebody to look up to and respect. Let me ask y'all a question. Is being a role model a part of being a good father? Yeah, I believe so. Being an example yeah. of, of what you should be when you grow up is part of it. Part of it because I believe like kids. But being a role model, is that 
I don't a, think I think you need for to be a them real, in a sense be a real model and show them that you fuck up like you right. you, you 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 human. See, Sometimes from, this role model thing is just so perfect. Right, right, right. right. It's, it's unrealistic because you're only seeing the side of a person and the public and what they do. You're not seeing them when they living. So you're getting the real model in the house because I believe the number one teacher to anybody in life. The, the the first and the last teacher you really gonna have is the one in the house because you take that education with you through your whole life. Right. That you get in the crib. So But they are watching what you do. Watching you know, like they watching. You could say one thing like you they're say, watching. Don't you. do this. Don't be doing this. Did they oh dad, you just I saw uh, you with a package. I seen you, you I, I know seen what you're you doing. with a, I, it's a gun in the room. <laughs> like I just seen it, you know I, whatever it may be. I like what Wallow just said though. I think that was real slick. I think I raised you good. <laughs> he said you like a real model. I like that. Because you could be a role model to your kids and still be a fucked up parent. Mm -hmm. You know how many niggas is role models to their kids? How many niggas that play professional sports is role model to their kids, but they fucked up parents? I know news that was in the streets and they was role models to their kids. Because their kids, you know, even today you got dudes that still want to be like their pops or whatever and they was on some dumb shit. Right. So you got to be mindful at the same time because it's like... You directly and indirectly, you educating them, and just like even with a woman, you educating your, your daughter, I mean, how she should be treated by a man. You're also educating your son on how he should treat a woman by the, what you what you having to deal with and tolerate with. A lot of times women be like, oh, no, I'm like, I'm like no, no, no. Your daughter then seeing you go through hell and put through shit by dudes. She seen you cry at night. Then she also seen you the next day when Tyrone come in the house and he getting the biggest piece of chicken. So y'all saying that you could basically play a negative role and be a negative role model. Yeah, you could sense. be a negative role yeah. model. Yeah. You know because what I mean? Dudes want to hurt their dad. Yeah, your dad was a D-boy. He was D-boy of the year. Mm -hmm. He was a trap star. Oh, I want to be a trap star. Like at the end of the day, I told people, I tell people a lot of times, you know what black legacy sound like in the black community a lot of times? This with the black legacy, the legacy that people leave. This is how it sound like. Dad, man, your mom was crazy as shit. That's the inheritance. That, that's what we inherit. Like shit like that. Oh, damn, Gil. Yeah, your dad, dad was, your dad real was a real G nigga. out here. That be, listen, that be in our inheritance. That, that be what we inherit. Like, you know how people, some people when they die, they, they, they get houses, they get, no. That's what we inherit a lot of times in black community because we don't establish nothing. Our, the only thing we leave sometimes is just who we was as a person. And sometimes that person's not always good and we don't establish nothing. Like leave some money, leave some property, leave some, a lot of times it don't happen. So a lot of times you got a lot of cats, young cats out here that's in the penitentiary now and are dead because they was chasing their father rep. Man, your father, you know how many times mm -hmm. me and Gil and see niggas and niggas we be standing in the corner on homies and friends and somebody be like, yo man, your father was a real nigga. Man, I remember me and your dad, right? He had the bins, right? We shot 10 niggas, or whatever. Whatever you shot somebody, whatever you get money. So you gotta be real mindful of the legacy you leave your child right. or what you doing because your children is always going to hear about that and they're going to want to emulate you or try to match that shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? I think, a, I think a good father is a person that makes decisions based off of the best well-being of their child. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Everything you do, you're thinking about, <laughs> yeah. is this going to be beneficial for my kids? Right. I mean, sometimes as a, as a, as a, as a father, you got you to gotta just back up and let them once they hit a certain age, you got to back up and understand because let me tell you something. You could be the best parents in the world and you could raise a child with every opportunity and sometimes they just get to a certain age and they want to do what the fuck they want to do. Yeah. Even though they know right from wrong. Even though they might know they on some nut shit. They get to a certain age where they just want to do what they want to do and it's like, what the fuck am I going to tell a 23-year-old man? Right. What the fuck am I going to tell a 24-year-old man? As a dad that has, like, daughters, mm -hmm. did you hear about, like, a couple weeks ago, there was an interview with T.I. and he talking about T.I. going to the doctor with his daughter. Did you hear anything about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. about like, Gil has said something like giving them their space to, you know, to do their own thing. Like, what do you think of that? Like, that was like a crazy situation, you know what I'm saying, with him going to the doctor and checking this you know what i'm saying like me personally i ain't really think none of it because i ain't got that you know what I, mean? I ain't got it. i ain't in that situation i don't mm -hmm. know how you gonna feel when you do have that you i have can't a daughter really, right? i can't really i got a niece that's like my daughter your niece so what, like, so what happened they said that basically he said that when he he goes to the doctor with his daughter that's 18 to check and see to see if her hymen is still in place like if she's still a virgin and that's what's, like, and people was a lot of backlash on that because they was like, yo, she's grown, like this, that, what's, and the third. What's, what's wrong with going to the doctors with your daughter? No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about him checking and having, like, basically she's an adult. 
But he's like, no, I want to know the results of your joint, whether or not you sexually active, this or that with her being an adult. So it was like a big thing in the news. And I was asking you, like, as a dude that has a daughter, how oh, do no, you, I ain't, you know, I ain't, I don't go to, uh, yeah, no. you, you like, nah. yeah, no, they, they moms go, you know what I mean? I ain't, I don't, let me tell you something. I don't need to know if a nigga crack him, my motherfucking daughter's safe open. I already know a nigga's cracking her fucking safe open. The fuck? My my kids is fucking about to be 18 and 22. You think they, ain't no dicks going up in there? <laughs> yes, it is. Hold up. Fuck, you talking about when, 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 <laughs> when, hold on, let me just say this. When, by the time two was my motherfucking oldest daughter age, we had already had a child was cranking the shit out there, soldier boy. Hey, you got them doing them. Send them many, mighty mo. Lay down, I'm going to pop this boat. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Fuck is you talking about? Let me ask you a question. Listen, let me tell you something. One thing about me, I'm a motherfucking real nigga. A realist, man. If you got daughters out here, by the time your motherfucking daughter, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, guess what she gonna do? She gonna get blazed, nigga. I think sometime I'll be stuck in a place that don't Fuck exist no more. Because yeah, Gil, you tell you, Gil get a call, right? He said, you know, Day Day called me today. I said, for what? She said, you ran the fuck up on the car. She was in the car with a dude. I said, yeah. And I, and I had him fill out the application. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I slid up, yo, what's going on? It's my oldest daughter. Because I'm sitting here thinking about, that's a little cuz, little day day. Right, but she grown. But I'm still like, I didn't know. I was like, yo, what the fuck's going on? What's going on in this car? Like, what's, like, what y'all doing here? Why y'all sitting in the car? I didn't even know I was tripping out. I didn't even fucking know. He called me, he's like, yo, cuz, you know she's uh grown? <laughs> I said, 22. No. I said, no, I'm like just. Like her, her, her and her little nigga live together. I'm like, I'm casing. Yeah, I, said, I mean, I said, shout out to the Lord I don't nigga. Know, I don't know that they, I don't know none of this you shit. You was already in prison for five years, yeah, by the way. I mean, I was just, in don't, prison just for don't call me talking about, you, you blazing my daughter. I understand that. You blazing her. I treat my daughter right and don't put your hands on it because you put your hands on her. But this is the whole you. thing, though. The whole thing was. Blaze the shit out you, young and I'm willing to go to jail about my fucking kids. <laughs> this nut ass nigga called me because I'm whole thing. I'm, I'm on, I'm on oh. some secure, family security. Like, it's on a family tip. Everybody in family got a, Every family got security. And like, Wallow is the martial artist, so if any danger come, they're going to call me. So I'm like, I'm on some family shit. Like, damn, I got to protect the family. You know what I mean? Protected by Viper. Stand back. I'm on some of that <laughs> shit, right? So I'm like, I think I'm doing everything cool, so I'm chilling somewhere. He called me. Hey, cuz, uh, Machine Day Day, huh? <laughs> I said, yeah, 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 man. You know, I had to, you know, straighten some shit. I had to check, you know what I mean, check his temperature, see what was going on. <laughs> he said, cuz, check his temperature. You know that's a boyfriend. I said, I said, what the fuck? I ain't know she had what's going on. No, cause I seen her posted up in the car with a nigga. I ain't know if they was tra I didn't know what, you know. She was like, he was like, both of them in college. He was like, he was like, he was like, I don't know if they was trapping. I'm on some old shit. I'm on some that old head shit back in the day. So I said, yeah, I had to slide up on him, check his temperature, see if he was going to tap his pockets, you know. So I go, he, he said, so, so he go back and forth. He said, yeah, man, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. I'm telling him, he telling me some luck. So I ain't peeping this old Joe. He'd be as smart on the phone, like, you know, they uh, go to college, like, you know, they like growing, like, right. So I get, I get back, yeah, because they posting up on the block in the car. So I'm trying to see what the fuck's going on. You know what I mean? What's going right. on? You know what I'm saying, Jim? I'm all in the <laughs> Jim, so I pulled up on him. Hey, hey, Slick, let me holler at you for a minute, man. <laughs> What's your name? Where you from? You from around here? All the old school shit that the old head to do back in the mm -hmm. day. He tell me, he said, he tell me, he say, what, Lo, you a nut ass nigga. I said, Cuz, what the fuck is you talking about? I'm protecting your daughter. And, this little and a nigga 22. I mean, a nigga, a nigga like 22. Dark skin nigga. I had to make sure a nigga ain't have a twenty two uh, on him. Uh, dark skin nigga named Tyler. Oh, I said I don't know if I could trust. But you. no, but no, hold on, hold on. Your dark skin, your dark, your crispy black nigga with a Caucasian name. But nigga. at the end of the day, I don't know if I could trust you, day, nigga. I ain't go for that. See, he fall victim to that. See, it's different. Tough, tough look different these days. Mm -hmm. See, back in the day, if somebody looked tough, they was mostly tough. Right. That's why I had to, I had to master the arts of. Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu, and Karate. Now these niggas lie going. about they whole, they so whole now, So now you will, see, you will see a dude, so you don't know. So this dude was, he was no disrespect. He looked tough, like back in the day tough. Dark skin. If you look at him from down the block, you'd be like, oh, this is going to be some shit. I wanna, I'm going to walk to the other side. So I didn't know. So I'm casing him out, right? I'm casing this dude out. Because at the end of the day. He said, I'm going to walk to the other side like a white woman daughter, holding her my, purse. Hey, hey, my daughter going to be bad as shit when no, she no, see no, this No, no, I'm just saying. No, she not. Day Day, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. He looked like he could put some work in. And when I pulled up on the car, 
I, I leaned on the door so he won't jump out if it got crazy. Because I don't know what he, I didn't know if he had the 22 because he said he was 22. He might have had a 22. And, and, and you're not going to operate the 22 on me. So I had to make sure I had him grab the gun and all that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm like, what's going on? Because you got to be safe. This is why you got to be on point. A lot of young girls that grow up and they grew up in a good environment, good times, a lot of times they be impressionable the street niggas. Right. And they be holding the pack. They be doing a lot of dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had an old that I was in prison with. His daughter was dealing with the street. So nigga. why the fuck you keep tapping me so much today? No, what fault, the fuck fault. are you doing? <laughs> my fault. Yeah, but this is chill, man. Chill, slick. What the fuck is you doing, man? <laughs> he liked the leather jacket. He just wanted to keep doing, keep doing he like just, this. He yeah, loved the feel of that, you know, that jacket. No, you know? I ain't even, I'm like, this shit is that's real how yeah, no, used no. To tuck. <laughs> Hey, that's how I am. Sally used to be laying in the bed together. I heard you told the CEO. I heard you told the CEO. I heard you told the CEO, take the top bump out. He always hit his stuff. Hold on, they turned it into one bed. Yo, turned it into one big ass He always hit his shit that nobody knew. They had a king I, size in the cell. <laughs> <laughs> this niggas is crazy. He always hears some shit that's a lie. He's a liar. He's lying on me. Listen, he's lying on me. turned it into a king size. Listen, listen, he lying on me. He lying on me. Come on, man. You know he fucking lying on me, Dev. This boy keep lying on me. Yo, you hey, Dev. Hey, Dev. Talk about we had a king size. These niggas had the king size. <laughs> They worked together, took the top bump down, and made it a king size bump. You lying, man. Niggas who, thought, who's niggas the thought, made the king niggas size thought y'all was making shanks and shit. Y'all was making tool, tools. <laughs> he he just on ratchets and oh shit. Oh, my fuck. He lied. God. Listen, he Yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to answer this. Hold on. Hey, Pop, I'm in the middle of, of filming my podcast, right? Wallow just did a story from the cell where he told he where lying on me. He was in a cell with his nit with his celly and they took the top bump down they and made it and made it a king size bed, made it all one bed. Hey Pop, he lying, Pop. You hear that Pop? He lying. So they so they wasn't cellies, they was roomies. <laughs> yeah. Hey but hey Pop, he lying on me, Pop. They turned the celly into a telly, Pop. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a lying. He's lying. He lying, he lying hey, on me. Hey, we, I be through what we leave here, man. He lying on me, man. Nigga went from a celly to a telly. Yeah, All right, go ahead, God. man. Finish. <laughs> but no, at the end of the day, so OG, right, his daughter was dealing with a street nigga. So he in penitentiary doing life. One day he got the call of his life. This dickhead, he go do some dumb shit in the car and then give her the car. She take the car driving. So when they shoot the car up, she dies. She get killed. So a lot of times you really got to put some protection and put some game on your daughters out here. Because if you don't put no game on your daughters, it's going to be somebody else out here putting some game on your daughters. And the game that they put on your daughters is going to be beneficial to them and not beneficial to your family and what she got going on and beneficial to her life. So right. you got to be mindful. So that hit my mind when I see in the car, in the young brother, he a good young brother, he good young mm -hmm. blood. But it hit my mind. I said, oh, slick, because you, you don't know. You don't fucking know out here. It's so much shit going out here. People shooting women. You just don't know who is taking advantage right. of your daughter. Who might come? They gonna come with a smile. So the bottom line is, put but it some might turn into a nightmare. Put some, game, put some game. Put some on game on your daughter. Put some game on your daughters. Or niggas gonna be running the train on your daughters. <laughs> <And> that's real. <laughs> yeah, it's that's true. Real. Hey, let's get into our next sponsor, man. We gonna get into our next sponsor. Our next sponsor is American. I'm talking about all American. Home care. Listen, all American man. home care. All American home care. And what all America do, and that's my all American care.com. Listen, what they do is listen, man. You got a family member. Your family member might be ill, might be what's the name, whatever might be going on with them. Do you know that you could get paid to take care of your family member? That you really could get paid. They will pay you. They listen, they pay the most money. I'm talking about they do transfer. If you're already with another home care and you want to come get with them, you get with all American mm -hmm. and listen, they're gonna pay you more vacation, they're gonna hook you up. I'm talking about all type of benefit, higher salary, two two hundred and fifty dollar sign on bonus, paid overtime, mm. paid time off, mm. paid vacation, mm. health insurance, mm. free ticket to annual caregiver prompt. Listen, I'm talking about all type of stuff. Patient consumer benefits, 24 hour support, mm. nursing supervision, mm. employees that speak 17 different languages, mm. convenient locations. Hold on, so they speak Matanos, Contanas, and Santa Matana, Calona, Cotona, Cantana, Matana, Cantanos. That's yes. just one of them. Okay. They probably speak Mandarin, speak anything. Oh, but speak African to Murivu guy. All that stuff. So at the end of the day, you want to, you, listen, you want to get with them. You want to get with somebody that's going to take care of you so you can take care of your peoples that you really love about. And if that's what you want to do, you got to get with myallamericancare.com. Listen, man, 215-531-7883. 215-531-7883. Three. Get with so, All American right now, man. They so, gonna hook you up. So if you with another company, another home company, you can transfer. Company, 
You could transfer right over to All American. Yeah, make it simple. You could transfer. And All American pays out the most money DPL. out of any home care company. Yes, they do. So, and but on top of this, and if you're not already doing it and you just getting you just getting notified about this the first time, they can hook you up. Put you through the process, start the paperwork, but but you know, if you if you're already getting busy, man, you want some more money, you could transfer right over. Wing. Easy. I'm talking about easy. Just like that. Just like that. Zippity doo da <laughs> zippity day, huh? You zippity, right over listen, zippity to all American and you making more money. MyAllAmericanCare.com, and they're going to hook you up. What's the number one more time? 215-531-7883. Okay. And it's just like that. All right, who would you be? <sighs> would you be? They're going some crazy shit, probably. GS Man. What's it? GS. The Golden Shower Man. <laughs> like I'm pissing on people? No, your woman uh, pisses on you. Come on. Oh, man. man. Would you be Spank Boy? Your woman ties you up and she spanks you. No. <laughs> With a paddle. Your woman spanks your ass and gives you the real red bottoms. Or would you be RLK? RLK? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? The reverse layup king. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch suck your dick from the back. You lay on your stomach, she suck your dick from the back. You got to pick one of them. Who you going to be? I, I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to go first. It's easy for me. me it's GS. easy for me. I'm, I'm being I'm, a golden shower. Yeah, me too. I'm GS. GS. Tude already pissed in the bed one time and got me. Like, I woke up. Did it hit whole, your leg? Did it hit yeah. your leg? It hit my whole everything. I thought it was me that pissed in the bed. Like, I woke up, the whole bed was wet. Do you ever get pissed on in the shower? Two did one. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, it, it can happen to everybody. You get pissed she, on. She, mm. she, she, she was about to get out. I said, no, just go ahead. And I didn't know that Jane was going to shoot out like that. Touch my tootsies when it was. She got my tootsies. You know what I mean? Did you ever let her purify you? What's purify me? When you just, like, you be in the shower and you just get down and she just, like, all this and the, it, it activates your skin. It, it purifies your skin. So you let April piss on your body. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I You did. It. I'm you not, let, no, 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 no. I heard about it. Listen. You did. No. no. You let her piss I, on your body. I already know Wallow spank boy. No. <laughs> what? I already know. She'll tie me down and spank. Yeah, yeah, first of all, cuz. Come on, man. Come on with this. She's going to be like, cause, dressed up like a CEO. You know why She's going to be dressed up like a CEO. One time we was out. One time we was out. And Tootie slapped him on his ass. She always hey, babe. Slapped him on his ass. So, you know what I mean? So I can see him be a spank boy. You know I know he's going to be SB? Because. Could you imagine the type of imaginary things that ran through his mind <laughs> sitting in that jail cell for 20 years? I can't wait till I get out. I'm just going to bitches tie me up and spank me. Oh, my God. He's I'm doing everything. He's lying yeah. on me. Because you used everything. to jerk off to the guard, you know what I mean, with right. the fat ass. Right. So you would have her put the guard like, uniform like literally, on. Literally, in jail, you got this much glass, <laughs> and it's, it's just longer. This nigga's at the door. He's looking through the glass door like this with his dick in his hand. Oh. <laughs> This bitch 400 feet away, he like this, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Looking through the glass. This nigga got one eye. This nigga drinking off with one eye. One, one vision out of one eye. Let me ask you some real stuff. 2010 listen, vision. Listen, let's just be real. Let's oh, just be real. God. And I need y'all to be understandable. I need y'all to be understanding. Yo, from y'all and y'all understanding, dude been in jail a long time. What's his name? And be understanding. Just think about what y'all. That don't go into the pervert act to it. Nah, you, you was under just, you yeah. was under duress. Okay, that's you, cool. That's cool. I just <laughs> need to know it. Cause you, I couldn't get the pee on my it, name. It, it, it honestly could have been. Do Don't do that. Don't do that. Honestly, to, don't do it, that shit. It, it could go, it could slightly go under the under the PV act. It was only perverted when you tried to let her catch you. Like that time yeah, that you yeah, tried to yeah. that yeah. was going too like far. Like when you lined it up for her to see you with your piece in your hand. And then the fact What's that, going on in that and, cell? And then, no, 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 no. Then the fact that you thought it was going to turn out like some porno no, they're thing. Going, they're, they're, going, they're, going to, they're, they're going to the uh, Flash Gordon act. They don't go into the perv joint. That's a Flash Gordon. You Like, how many times could you do a, pull a Flash Gordon off and then it don't go into that clarification? Nah, it's underneath there somewhere. Flash Gordon is one of them things under that pervert act. I'm not saying, like, not out in public. I ain't in public. Even in jail, you wait, You tried to time it. You put a plan together, dog, like an all escape right, man, plan. All right, all right, I take that. But it's not, it's not right, clear. That's not, I don't get the pedo for that. What? The purge for that flash oh, yeah. going to on. No, 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 no. Just because you was in the pen. All right, so I get it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you know I mean, I wouldn't do that on the street. I wouldn't just flash, flash my joint out. The like. nigga that ripped your jump off definitely get the perverted joint, though. 
Yo, stop saying that shit, man. Right. Like straight up, man. Motherfuckers really think, think, think. Who think would you niggas be? Might rip my jump. So off. I'm, I'm golden. Y'all, um, you spank boy. I'm going with golden. I'm no, no, going I, with golden. Cause oh, piss, oh, oh, yo, how you gonna throw spank boy? Yeah, yeah, yes, you. Yes. I ain't say I was spank boy. He, he, he reverse uh, layup. Nah, king. nah, nah. Dev, go, like, nah, Dev nah, the type of nigga nah, get his dick sucked nah, from the back. Nah, nah. <laughs> Dog, if you hate mine and you can suck my dick from the back, so you can kiss my ass at the same time. I'm, I'm going with the golden, with the do rag on, with the book bag on. He gonna have a book bag on. Book bag on in the raw jersey. Move the straps, my book. Back on in the raw jersey. I can see him. Raw, <laughs> raw Camby jersey on no shirt on. <laughs> come, on come on, man. I Yo. can see it. That's Yo. Dev Nasty. He ain't doing no regular shit. Dev the type of nigga tell me <laughs> spit in my mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Spit in my mouth. Hold on, cuz. You got some nasty ass Air Forces on. Uh -uh. <laughs> they nasty as shit. No, these ain't Take Air them Force. on. They is nasty as shit. These ain't Air Force. Hey, 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 B-Rock. They these nasty as shit. Forces. They nasty as shit. <laughs> Let me see, cuz. Air Forces. These joints is nasty as these shit. These Air Forces. Yo, violation. Well, this they, is a violation. They actually boots. I'm taking the strap. Like, these joints is boots. nasty. <laughs> these is Air Force. You took the straps on. Didn't you tell me you can't wear it? Ain't got no fucking straps on. <laughs> they actually boots. You hold on. I got some regular Adidas on. Yeah, man. with your with your with your with them That's same ass Adidas, Adidas sweatpants. No, they're not the same. You been in our crib. Ass. You know I got a same, thousand pairs. Same, you lying on me. Same sweet he lying Adidas on me. sweatpants. You fucking on. lying on me. He got that the knee, was hey, nasty. The nigga, the nigga got the knee joint. Still in all his sweatpants. We right here with the knees. At. He and they got his kneecap marks in all his sweatpants. He lying on me. Because that's how many joints, that's how many times he wore them bitches. Fuck you, Tubba. So you spank boy. You I'm just, going because cause, cause, cause piss is, is sterile. Piss is clean, bro. I'm going with the piss, man. That's why I said. We are, yo, why I'm, you keep saying I'm going with I'm spank going boy? Piss. I said I said GS. It's more bacteria and tap water than it is piss. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm, 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 I'm GS on. man. You spank boy, and you no, are, no, I'm not. No, you I'm are not. okay. No, I'm not. Not. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. Go ahead. You put this big fucking thing together for your woman. All right. Everybody comes out. Everybody. Whole family there. Your family, her family, fourth and fifth cousins. Damn. You ask her to marry you, and she rightfully declines in front of everybody. Is the relationship over? <laughs> She's a stranger. How does she decline? Like, what the fuck was going on that y'all don't? Like, she just declined? Yeah. She like, no, nah, I don't want to do this right now. April, like, I mean, sometime in the future, baby, but not right now. Like, is your and April relationship over? Yeah, it's over. She got. I'm, we just gonna, you know, we gonna be, we gonna. You just want to do you then. Yeah, it's over. Like, for me personally, lie in front of my family members and tell me later. Don't have me on the motherfucking <laughs> no, kitchen. I won't, mind, I won't mind that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because like, he, he'll love that. He'll be like, yeah. he, he'll love some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we can make up a story later on why we not getting married, but you better, you better lie. No, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? On some real shit, it depends on where I'm at, but if it's not the time, it's not the time. And I'd rather you it not be the time than we be out here faking like everybody else. Nah. Like we married. You going you gonna really be the dude that April says April says no to Wallow two six seven. You don't told everybody. Camera. I mean, you everybody, everybody in the family pull it out. Soon as you, soon as you drop to your the knees, on it, y'all. Everybody going pull that joint out. And she's just like, no, I'm sorry, two, Wallow. Listen, I can't. It's two, it's two ways to feel, right? I can't. Sorry, it's two Wallow. Ways to feel. I still love it's Jamal, my old no, nigga. No, no, listen. You could, you could be, you could be From this West side of Baltimore. You could, you could be this though on some real shit. I'm gonna be real about it because we living in this fake ass world, right? No, she used to date a nigga named T Bag Jones. But listen, yo, that was don't a crazy put name. that on her. Come that on, man. You name. know that wasn't his name. April T Bag sitting in the tree. T-Bag Jones. Like, what type of nut shit is so that? So they used to be like April and T Bag the nigga sitting had in the tree. But listen, K I S N. But first off, you know how bad that makes it sound for April when you saying she dated a dude named T Bag Jones? Nothing. No, it ain't It ain't what you think. It's T Bag and who? He was neutered. I hate to think a nigga was dropping the pups on cousin April. They called it that because he was neutered. But listen, this is the twist. The twist is this. April was fucking with neutered. It's two type of motherfuckers. <laughs> what the fuck? It's two type you of You just fucking this all. No, shut up. It don't matter. Listen, it's two type of ways to feel, Dev. You got the Instagram way to feel, and you got the real way to feel. Because you said everybody's there. Everybody know. Every That's the fake feeling of, oh, I'm supposed to feel this way because no. I'm embarrassed. No, 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 no. Nah. How the fuck is you going to feel when she tell you... I can't do it right now. I'm still, I still got a little feelings for T-Bag Jones. I'm sliding and gliding. TBJ. 
I still got a, I still got but feelings it's, for it's, TBJ. It's a dub, it's double pain because she's saying no to you, and then the fact that everybody saw it's like so what every, I now, he I know, no, he no, know. Okay, I know okay, that okay, I, okay, I care, okay, I care, okay. I care. He know one thing about him. Okay, so he know he say cuz. Really I give my opinion. Give a fuck. I don't give both fuck. of you some ultra bitch ass niggas <laughs> in this drink. I'm leaving because she told me no. Oh, I'm <laughs> done. This bitch has to go here, but I'm double hurt. Oh, I'm double hurt. <laughs> oh. And he talk about. I mean. <laughs> I ain't gonna be on the Instagram <laughs> shit, but, <laughs> but we done. Nigga. We done though. I ain't, I ain't worried about how everybody else feel. His name Gan G A N. Goofy ass nigga. Gan. Goofy ass nigga. I ain't worried about how everybody else feel, but I'm gone. So what would you do, nigga? I'ma suck it the fuck up. I'm gonna be like, all right, cool. I, I, I respect. Yeah, but, yeah. Not on duty. Yeah. <laughs> not on yeah. duty. That's a not on duty. Duty. God damn. Hey, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a respect the fact that. At least she kept it real with me, and she ain't. You know what I mean? Hey, it might have been. Hey, what you gonna do? She, she piss on him anyway. In my mind, <laughs> in my mind, it might have been a time in her mind. It might not have been a time. Just like you know, what I mean, niggas out here, the woman want to get married, and the nigga really ain't ready to get married, and now he he force himself to do some shit that he don't want to do. <clears throat> so I would have respected it. You know, y'all just some ultra soft. Into, yeah. You know, ultra soft, I'm soft. charming ass niggas. Lie to me and then tell me later. Look at Damn, me. he said lie to me. Lie Don't to me. Don't lie to Damn. me. Damn. Yeah. Lie to me. <laughs> spank me. Nah, that's you. Lie spank to me. me. Nah, you spank boys. Spank me and lie to me. <laughs> ain't, he, ain't he the one said he have his cheeks out like Prince? He'd wear the Prince uniform. What he oh, said, no. I'll be Prince. <laughs> oh, no, cheeks wait. out. And wait. he said he tank. No, no, you don't no, like no. the taste yeah. of the dick. No, I didn't say I was tank. You said that. You didn't say he was tank. No, I didn't. He was like, you could taste Two dicks. No, no. You got a two dick taster. No. You can taste two dicks, and if you don't like the taste, no. Nope. Give the dicks back. Nope. And then you're still on the same side of the fence crazy, as all man. the regular guys. I had guys. nothing to do with it. That's your boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I fuck with Tanky. Cool. Exactly. Tanky That's your never boy. Did nothing to me. Mm -hmm. I just don't agree with the two dick taster. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> no, no. Two dick tasters. <laughs> no nope. tank. Freaky, freaky dev. Freaky dev. Let's get into the top five porn stars of all time. Dev, we got to come to this. Is your this yeah? He's is your, he's, he's yeah. This, your if you was in the star, game, you were in the game. You was in the game. Who top the top five, five porn, porn stars of all, all time? Top five. Jasmine Cashmere. We talked about okay. that. No, go ahead. Do you? I'm putting that at the right. top. Harley Dean. You probably don't know who that is. Alexis Breeze. We talking about the whole industry, like if all listen. Time. Pinky, got to put her up there for being legendary. Mark Ketter Jewel. These are old school. I'm an old school porn ball. Okay. Who's the top five porn stars for you? Jasmine Cashmere is a legend. She's she's a, she's a legend. As you can see, she's a legend. Uh, I'm vicious. I'm vicious. Uh, damn it, shit. Cherokee. Cherokee was a was a goat. That's a legend. Uh, what's the one girl from uh, the Philly porn star chick? Roxy Reynolds. Mm -hmm. Definitely Pinky. And probably, what's the, Janet Jackney. Oh, they going old school. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 I didn't put my work into. I didn't been on some, like, I didn't put my stuff in. I, I'll probably go on that list too. My top five. How you was in a porn, you was in jail the whole time? No, I ain't oh, talking about you. Oh, <laughs> Lord. I was talking about you. I had some I had some tapes out before. This was VH1 with that old camera. VH1. Hey, he hey, said hey, VHS. Hey, let me find VHS. out. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. hey. Listen, he was in the hey. prison plays. Maybe he was in prison porn. He was prison <laughs> porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm it's like that's Double crazy. Double bananas. <laughs> you think that's crazy? What? <laughs> what? what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> a prison porn called Double Bananas. Yeah, yeah strip, strip search 44. Uh, <laughs> he was in a porn called Banana Split. <laughs> no, nah. he was in a porn called Banana Shits. No, 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 no. Nah. Fuck banana split, banana shits. Oh man, that's crazy, man. Y'all niggas, damn, Lo, you you started the porn industry in <laughs> no, jail. Oh my, you just slam on my God. name. Nigga. You put smut on my oh name, my all type of ways. Take God. that smut off my name, man. Hey, he was walking around the jail with the nigga with the what's the nigga with the negative twelve thousand worth of jewelry on? <laughs> oh, oh, Brian, uh, Brian Pumper, yeah, he was Wallow Pumper, <laughs> yo. He was Wallace Pumper. That's what they used to call him. In Filming porns on the beds <laughs> that you brought that you brought down on one level. The king size bed. Don't join the bed. <laughs> you used to take <laughs> niggas into the king size. <laughs> he was the same nigga. Step into my bedroom. No, listen, this is Joe. He the one that said, "Yeah, I wanted to be Justin Slayer." 
<laughs> you remember he said yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The nigga was out here fucking the bitches. Yeah, he, he, was, was, he was actually fucking these something. drones that I named. Let me just say something. In order for you to know that how good he's fucked the bitch, you had to watch him. He was bird listen, watching. Listen, man. You're a bird watcher. I, I seen he's the porno. A bird the, nigga, the nigga was in the porno, man. Uh, you're hope, a bird hope. watcher. Hope, hope. Newsflash. Single time. He's a bird watcher. He watched them birds. He watched watching birds. His name is Dev Nasty. No, and this He's song a is trash. Man, I watch birdies. Birdman, nope. Birdman, no, nope. Birdman, Birdman. He watched birds. Why you put that on Birdman, Birdman too? No, that was a, that he was he, he liked that. He watched birds. Yeah, you did say Justice Slayer birds. was. Yeah. Nah, he like Justice Slayer. Was I nigga. Never, I've never seen yeah. a nigga fuck a chick and was like, I want to fuck him. I want to fuck like him. Listen, yo, yo, idiots. He this had his whole uniform. He said he's Justice Slayers. He used to wear the Timbs. I used to wear the Timbs in the book bag. He wore the Timbs in the wrap around glasses. This is the thing. He frauding because he wanted to be him too. That's the crazy <laughs> part. Yes, he did. 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 You lying on me, Def. Yeah, That's did. crazy, man. That's crazy. My top five porn stars is Tootie. <laughs> we, we already Tootie's know. Tootie's vicious. <laughs> Pinky. Myself, I really don't. <laughs> I really didn't look at porn like that. So he I'm just lied. glad all Yo, you did. Lied. Hey, listen, listen. Who the fuck remembers porn star names? Like you're going there to get your thing off. Like you're not going there. To, so you mean to tell me you niggas used to go to Pornhub and punching bitches? No, names. That was, I'm magazine. Yeah, no, I did. And old VHS. Okay, that like you niggas just sat here and admitted to the top five bitches you niggas jerked off to the most. I just want you niggas to know that. Okay. You niggas just submitted the top five bitches you just jerked off to the most. So it's safe to say you've bust more nuts with them five bitches than you did with April. And you've bust more five you bust more nuts with them bitches than you did with V. It's <laughs> You niggas remember bitches' names that you jerk off to. Now that's some pervert shit if I've never seen it. You and you knew more. You was like, Man, we all perverts. Mm -hmm. He was like, not her. But this motherfucker, he knows stats of all type of sports athletes. Mm. Yes. Of niggas, yes. of sweaty, oh, of he sweaty went, niggas. He, he argued with my fucking. <laughs> no, he didn't. He went to college here. He played basketball. The first time his dad and his uncle was, they took him to the park out there in Chicago. It's called what's the name park? He scored three points. He had three rebounds and he had three blocks. That was in 1973. You know all that shit though. It's cool to know that, but you can't know who the porn star. You can't know bitches. You can't know bitches with fat asses. Right. But he right. know he, he know all the niggas on the football field that smacking okay. each other okay. ass and shit. Who knows a uh, bunch of bitches you never fucked? <laughs> You sexually no, no, no. assault yourself whoa, 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 whoa. too. You're sexually assaulting yourself to the images. Gil, Gil, it's a big debate. It's just like the new the new streaming thing. How many how many albums equal how many albums did down, downloads equal album sale? I forget now. Shit. About too many, many niggas. No, no, so, no, hold up, hold man. up. About how many? About ten? Hell no. It's well, way it more matter. than ten. It's way more. All right, than but that. listen, that's the same thing with porn stars. If you masturbate to a porn store after like 10, 15 times, you that, count, that count is fucking one time. <laughs> because you know him. Shut the fuck up. Like you know him That's personally getting a million dollars worth of game, That count. I'm, I'm That's getting a million dollars worth of game. If I didn't have him, I'd be in trouble. This is sponsored by, have you had any good Listen, hair lately? million dollars worth of game is sponsored by, have you had any good hair lately? Yup. I'm connected and I'm back. And I will be keeping mine. For all the haters out there, shout out to all the supporters out there who love my, my do. <laughs> I mean... Listen, man, I'm keeping that for life, man. I got that thing put up in, on, on, on the shelf in the crib. I got a couple other pieces put up. That nigga up. got a motherfucking mannequin with his head on there like a bitch. <laughs> Niggas were saying y'all look like the ghetto Bert and Ernie. Well, they hate us. Cool. They hate us. They wanted that hair. Cool. Like, people want, like, like, that, like, we brung the bald head dudes back. Like, we gave them hope. Right. People ain't even had no hope. You know what I mean? Lives we saving out here. That was low key hating on us. Yeah, I yeah. was. Yeah, I was. was my shit, you know, be butt. You know, what I mean, I, I, I was shaved real, Hold real you smooth. Said, what you said, you be butt what? Butt. <laughs> no, I know. I didn't. Joint, you just said I be, I, I be butt. I'll be butt. Nah, I was butt. No, I'm saying butt. I had the shaved. I had the smoothest ball oh, he ever had, so I was cool. Oh, okay. And we can't. By the way, we can't wait to see y'all this week. It's going down. That live, we can't wait. Well, November thirtieth surprises sold out. Two times sold out. Well, that's what we do. Let's get into me and I was worth a game. Yo, Gilly, I'm 22 years old. I'm trying to break into the acting scene. You got any advice on how I could get started or what I should do? Um, now, this me and I was worth a game was pretty weak. It was pretty bland. But it's a reason why I picked this one right mm -hmm. here. Because it's a lot of people that's sitting around with great ideas and it's not activating the ideas. I don't give a fuck what you want to do in life. Do it. If you don't do it, you don't go out there and you don't pursue your dreams. Your dreams is never going to come to you. So what you need to do is you need to find out where auditions 
for movies and for certain things are going down at and you show the fuck up there. And it was a bunch of movies shot on iPhones that was on Netflix, all type of won awards. Right. You just got to start wherever you can start. Don't, don't stop looking at where you, where you need to be at the start and start where you at. Just start. Right. Start shooting your own shit. And let me tell you something. When you, like even you sending me this today saying, Gilly, you got some advice what I should do. This another day you missed out. And this is another 24 hours that you could have been chasing your dreams and not letting your dreams pass you by like a motherfucking Lamborghini on the expressway. You feel what I'm saying? So not just to the people that want to be actors, no matter what you want to be, you want to be a nurse, you want to be download your plan and make it happen immediately. Stop with the procrastinating and the bullshit and, and the I want to do, I want to do, I want to do. When is you going to change that shit to I'm, I'm going to do, I'm doing, I'm making happen. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I don't sit around and talk about what I'm going to do. I make shit happen. I just go. That's what, that's what it's about. You got to make shit happen with blind faith. You know what that is? Faith that God is going to make shit happen for you once you put in enough work. So stop sitting around no matter what you want to be in life, man. Find out where some auditions at, where some movies going on. Talk to some people, connect with some motherfuckers, and, 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 and wiggle your way in. However you got to get in, wiggle your motherfucking way in and then take it from there. That's the best advice I could give you. Let's get into top five gangster rappers of all time. Cool G Rap, without a doubt. I'm going to say Cool G Rap. Started that shit. Let me say, I'm going to say Cool G Rap. I'm gonna say Schooly D. I'm gonna say NW NW as a group. We can put them as a group. Yes. So we're gonna make it together. You're gonna make your top five. <laughs> What's your top five, Gil? Your My top. top five is Cool G Rap. Legend. NWA as a group. Um 50 Cent. Um Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. Mm. How the fuck were you? Um, DMX. Mm. Damn. No nice Tupac? One. You forgot Tupac. But Snoop. But see, but see, but see. I'm glad you said Snoop Dogg. But see, but see, Tupac to me wasn't a gangster rapper. Tupac to me was more of he could get on some gangster shit. I got you. Yeah, you know I mean, if I I say because Tupac real was more for the people sticking together, educational, and educational, and what, you want to say Biggie? Because Biggie made Biggie made feel good music. Biggie made you feel like you wanted to go buy a motherfucking Coogee sweater, man. All right, but this B- gonna Biggie be made a nigga feel like he wanted some Versace. See, DMX had that, stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop, whoa, roll, it's a rough ride, let's roll. <laughs> he had a nigga ready to, <laughs> niggas want to die, he niggas want to lie, mm-hmm. he niggas want to die. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say this. Here go, here go my, here go my five. Right. Ghetto Boys is a group. Scarface oh, Scar- mm-hmm. Ghetto Boys is a group. Damn, I forgot Scarface. I'm going to say. I fall face. I got to say them. I got to say. Up. I got to say, because we're we not talking about people personally. we just talking about the lyrics. Uh, yeah, I'm talking right. about the music, the category. Gangster, you got to say Jeezy. Mm. Mm. Like, Damn. you, you got to say that because he, what he was able to do was, he was able to have motherfuckers on some shit. Like, I'm going to get it. Like, see, to me, though, Jeezy represented the hustler. The hustler more than the gangster. But yeah. I still, I still, but it's I still, still like, it's, so that's he, the thing. He it's made a, me this think a, differently when he said, some of the people he said, it made you like, damn, okay, it's water. It's like. They got more to it's them more than to, that. But it's, it's like still, the it's still a, gangster, though. Because you, I th- I'm saying you talking about the, like, when we talk about gangs, we talking about it ain't just the violence, it's the money getting, it's the whole lifestyle. Yeah, just the street. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. So the, And the reason why I picked Snoop Dogg, because. Oh, yeah, Snoop definitely I was a young nigga. Snoop Dogg was on motherfucking trial for murder. Word. Came out with murder was the case that they gave me all hat and nigga. That was like this nigga's a gangster. Yeah. Now what's the name? Blood is nigga. Oh, now I said I said ghetto boys. I said Jeezy. Now we got to say this. Biggie talk gangster shit. 
I, I put him in that I'm category, bro. I, I, I do. I can't. I can't. Because he talked player like. shit, but he had talked some kick yeah. in the door. He talked some gangster oh, shit. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like I'm saying, I'm trying to measure this. Is what I'm trying to measure because the whole lifestyle on some gangster shit as of if I'm in a game, whatever. Like the whole the way they rapping, like we getting money, we doing this, we pop you. Number one, I'm talking. About, I'm talking about that's number. I'm saying Biggie. That's three, right? Mm-hmm. Locks. Okay. As a group. two groups in there, mm. they fucking and. Somebody that I liked, I liked this shit. I don't know his whole situation, but I liked his gangster shit. Sean. For real? Mm-hmm. Sean. Sean. I liked this shit. Like, mm-hmm. every, I, it's going to be a lot of people, oh, you ain't say this. You ain't say this. Let, let me just say something to the people. We, we don't eat perfect. We can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can't figure every, everybody. Right. We, we, we fuck wait, up. Wait, wait. Speak for yourself. Nigga. <laughs> you niggas speak for yourself. Stop saying we, motherfucker. I've been to France, nigga. <laughs> we, no, I've never been there. i never been All there. All right. So, so y'all say you. Stop saying we. So I yours, don't fuck up. My shit's perfect. So yours ain't in no particular order? Nah. Mine is in order. I say number five, Ice Cube. Number four, 50 Cent. Number two, I mean number three, Snoop. I still put number two, Pac. And number one, I'm not saying this to troll. I really believe he's the biggest gangster rapper of all time. Wheezy, Lil Wayne. Damn. I, 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 I'm I not saying that, that to troll because... He the blood that that's what they he represented. I don't know who that man is, but I'm telling you, I think he's the biggest gangster rapper you ever. About from his impact and anything, that everything, he had that man, moment? everything. And it was a long time period, man. People people wanted to become gang members. People wanted to get dressed. People wanted to tat their face. They wanted the influence. Yo, when he had that moment, right? I was being a gangster rapper and having an influence is two different things. No, but no, no I'm saying it was both. I'm just yes. saying both existed. It was both. Yes. I'm counting everything. The lyrics. Oh yeah, I forgot one more person I wanted to pick. Gil, I want him in my top five gangster rappers. I know you did, but <laughs> yeah, I know you did. Because the truth is, I don't feel like <laughs> niggas. I feel like Shaq. I should kill y'all niggas. I know, yeah. I know. He, I hey, want to pick him hey, too. He, no, hey, no, no. Hey, can, we had, can we have a top hey, listen, five? Listen, 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 he wanted to pick me number one. Oh, we had top five. He didn't want to look like it was there, nepotism. Like, right, he didn't want to put me He want to show that I really was, you know, because that really, like, damn, Gil really is his big cousin. Then he really looked up to Gil. Like, he put Gil in front of all them niggas. Like, that's. But Gil was one of the. Yeah, damn. Hold the fuck up. We yeah. fucked up. What? I'm going to have to retract Sean and put Beans on there. Mm. I forgot about Beanie Siegel. How the fuck I'm going to do that? Uh, See, that's what I'm saying. Like, How, how I forgot about Beanie Siegel. I still ain't. I'm, put, I'm not putting Beans over nobody that's on my top five, but Beans is up there. Beans is on there. Damn. Yeah, we got to take it to Beanie 10. Siegel. We got to put Beans. I, beans in my five. I'm dropping Sean. I forgot about Beans. Dropping Sean. Got to put Beans there. I yeah. definitely put Beans over Sean. Definitely. His shit was Sean shot the club up, nigga. Bean oh, shit was no. hard. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm terrible. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Fuck, yeah. Hey. Gotta... Damn. Let's get into the episode of Stories from the Cell. This Stories from the Cell is brought to you by DepQuest. Like, listen, DepQuest, they're going to take you 50% down on your, you know, whatever you might have. You might have a debt for all type of stuff. We talking about some minimum. You got, I'm talking about, it got to be minimum of 10000 in unsecured debt. We talking about credit cards, medical bills, bank loans, repos, business debt, collections. I'm talking about, man, no mortgages, student loans, cars, or child support. None of that. I'm talking about, listen, man. DebtQuest is going to do it. I'm talking about reduce your debt by 50%, get you out of debt, affordable programs for 6 to 48 months, eliminate all interest, no upfront fees, no obligations, wait, wait, cancel no at any time. Fees. <laughs> no fees. No upfront. I said no upfront. You, you said no unfuck fees. That's what you said. You did. I said no I said, I said, no upfront fees. You did. I said, listen, no upfront fees, no obligations, cancel at any time. Listen, man, company, company benefits, licensed debt settlement companies, 10-year in business, a plus rating with Better Business Bureau, excellent rating on Trust Pilot. I'm talking about this is listen, they the truth. You go to them, you owe some money, listen, ten thousand, they slice it down to five, but they're not going to charge you until they make the, the deal with mm-hmm. all the credit the creditors or whatever. Boom. Once they do that, they're gonna hit you with their little fee and you okay, off to the so races. I owe twenty thousand, I go to them. They talk to the collectors for me. They call me back and say, You owe seventy four hundred now. Let's go. No, they say fifty percent. So if you owe twenty thousand, that means you owe ten thousand. Oh, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Still seeing if they could knock a little more off. He was trying yeah, to. Put they, some- yeah, <laughs> they, they might. <laughs> but I'm saying they're going to. They, they might listen. can knock a little at bit more day, off. You never know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you if you going through, I'm talking about. Listen, man, see this big number up there. You call that number one 
8383debtquest.com. Get Debt with them, Quest. man. Now, get listen, you out of debt. Get right you out of debt. Debtquest.com. Now, this story from the cell is deep, man. Uh, I was a stem man in jail. I was a stemmer for uh, two years straight. A stem man? What? Yeah, this is what the stem man is. A stem man is this. Uh, and it was crazy. This before I got in the game. A stem? I had, two, I had two homies, right? They was dealing with these guards. And I was like the middle man. I stem. So it's like a guard to come get with me to always be coming to me, hollering at me, and I'll be like the middleman wherever they passing notes off or whatever. But it'll be like the heat is on me because I ain't really doing nothing with him. But it's really like, say Gil, he banging in the guard chick. She doing whatever for him, doing whatever, bring, like bringing stuff in. She'd come and get, hey, Wallo, what's up? You know what I mean? We'd kick it. Had like, hey, what's going on? Got to talk shit to her. The, the, the role thing is she might slide up on me and be like, hey, Wallo, this, that, and the third. And when she giving me some, talking to me about something, but really, it was really good. Listen, tell him to make sure he meet me down in the boom, boom, boom staircase on boom, boom, boom on the back of the block. Like, you gotta get this cleaning supply. I need a moment. Tell my boo that. And after we get to talking, I might go holler. Yo, listen, she said. So I was a stemmer. He was kind of like management for jail. No, he sex. was an M two D D. What's that? A middleman to the dick. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on? Listen, you no. was a dick middleman, <laughs> no, and basically all, all, no, all no, the no. guards. So to everybody me, else was fucking the guards, to, and you was <laughs> right. They, everybody else getting no, pussy, no, no, and, no, and no, he's jerking on trying to make that same. He's trying to make that guard catch him. This is a fucked up story for the cell. Like this dog changes when changes. No, no, I'm not going to change it. You Listen. was an M two D D, and a then you called just, no because you called yourself a stem man, and then you said the no, niggas burn out stem. their stem. No, so you so uh, you said a stem was that, and now you're saying you're a stem man. No, no, listen, you're the one with the jail was, lingo. You're was teaching DB, us. He no, no, was no, dick no, boy. Listen, 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 listen. If you want any dicks on this block, you gotta come to me. I'm the middleman of the dicks. <laughs> hey, I'm the middleman. Fuck fuck dancing for the stars. I'm the middleman for the dicks. What they think I love? This what happened. I'm telling you, this what happened. You was a middleman for the dicks in prison. Only thing I was doing was God damn. I was I was. Listen, I was I was managing. He was a manager of dicks. That's oh why he was God. really putting a hole. That's you, why you, he was hey, putting a hole. It had nothing to do with the He lied on me. He lied Hold on. me. Hold on. Any kids out there need management? <laughs> Get with Wallow now. If he can manage dicks, he can manage anything. This nigga was in prison telling guards, "Wait, you want you want some of that dick?" No, I was telling. Hey, hold on, wait. Let's come here. No, man, let's negotiate. You don't know let's, anybody that was in jail. Let's negotiate. Anybody that was in jail, they know how to game. Let's you know, negotiate. On, he man. like let's negotiate. All right, come on, man. Listen. You lying on me, man? Let me get it. You know what I mean? Keep my cell open at the at the at the lockdown. Yeah, you know I mean, I get my man to fuck you. You don't want to do that? All right, you can't get no dick. I'm the middle man to the dicks. What the fuck is going? on? This nigga like, was in there no. referee and sausages. What <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? A sausage referee. <laughs> the fuck? No, that's not how it went. Let me explain something to you. This the whole thing. It's like you just you just going, yo, man, tell them to meet me. Down. So they can't want to come directly. They don't want to be coming to your cell. That's drawing the heat. Me, I might be cleaning the block. But how they to pick them. you out of all the niggas to be the referee of the no, I had two homies. I just had two homies that was that had chicks and that and was said, the game. They, said, they was like, wow, we need you. To, we need to, we got a job for you. What? We need you to manage your dicks. No, it did. And right. then after that, I ain't got it. You know what I mean? I had somebody stemming for me when I had my situation. But it was somebody I was stemming for. He started for. off a manager. Do you like these motherfucking managers today? You start off a manager next thing you know. You are artist. He's the rapper now. Like, you the rapper now. I need my fuck that. Fuck that. I'm going in the booth. I need my whole manager <laughs> now. I need somebody to manage my dick. If you tired of your stem man trying to be <laughs> all in the fuck sessions, I'm tired of managing dicks. Come over to cell block two. My dick. <laughs> they lying on me. They lying the nigga, on me. The nigga, the, nigga, the nigga was 10 years in of managing dicks and they changed the routine. I'm tired of managing dicks. I need somebody to manage my dick. <laughs> Man, it's my. No, listen, man. This dude right you here, man. You was in on some you freaky, you low lying. down, perverted. You slamming my name out. You trying to put smut on my But you was doing that while you were doing L Smutto thing at the dicks. same time. So it's like, that's he crazy. He managing dicks. He L Smutto. <laughs> oh, yeah. He yo, nigga ripping his jump off in the cell. Yo, yo, ain't nobody fucking rip my jump. Stop saying this shit. Oh, ain't nobody stop you fucking lying. He didn't rip my jump off, man. Cook this, season this noodles in there. People ask me that Nigga, season your noodles in there. The old, listen, all the stories from the cell. The UPS truck. Boy, rip your jump off. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, listen, yo like, come on, man. That dumb shit, man. A crackhead woke him out of his sleep, pulled him off the top bump. He was bitching. Like, you, you, you we learning a lot of shit about your jail time, bro. No, man, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, you know I mean, I made it out safe. Like, I never knew you was managing niggas in prison, man. I wasn't managing no boys. Come on, man. Don't do that. I wasn't man. managing no boys. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said I wasn't managing nobody in prison, man. Come on, man. He lying on me, y'all. He 
You and Dev imagination. Listen, man, bro. this week, man, me and I was with no, you got yo, you say some filthy shit. You're bro, you so dumb. Yes. We're learning. D- d- you know, stories y'all, from the cell, we all learn. The audience learns from you. You said you niggas burnt they stem out in there. Then you said you was a stem man. We we just trying to follow the story, bro. He's a filthy animal. <laughs> Y'all savages, man. Put smut on my name. <laughs> it's million dollars worth of game. Me, 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 Listen, me, 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 million dollars worth of game. See everybody who bought a ticket this week. We'll see y'all this weekend. Yeah, we treat you like up. y'all. We gonna turn our up family, like man. we never turned up we before. Y'all. y'all, not our followers. Y'all, are our family. We all are one. I appreciate all of you guys. All of you. Temple University. This week, million dollars worth okay. of game. We truly are grateful. This is million dollars worth of game. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just...